And receiving a letter, it can brighten someone's day, especially those who've been isolated during the pandemic. Nursing homes have been one place where social interactions have slowed down. Avery Lee and Carlisle Childress want to change that. They're students from Austin High School. And what they did, they went around and they gathered letters from fellow students, from kindergartners, and even reached out to people in their community. Their goal here is to offer words of encouragement and brighten the day for residents at a local nursing home. We wanted to do something for the elderly to make them feel like more connected to everyone. So we decided to write letters to all the elderly people of Westminster. We wanted to bring uplifting words to the elderly because it's just hard to communicate with people, especially because like, there's no touch anymore. And so we just really wanted to just like bring letters to uplift, like, I don't know, get their spirits up. They dropped off about 50 letters at an area nursing home this week for residents to read over. So sweet. Yeah, it is so sweet. You just think for a lot of those folks at the nursing homes, you know, that that's probably how they still communicate. I think about right. my grandfather yes. who used to write me letters, write everybody letters and send mm -hmm. it in the mail. So to get something back that way, it was probably a big boost for a lot of them. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Who doesn't love a good, you know, homemade letter? I know. Hey,